Hello everybody, this is Tech, and in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to run a Bucket Minecraft server on Mac OS X. Now, before you start, you're going to want to make sure you have Java, and to do that, you can go to the Apple, go to System Preferences, and if you see Java right there, that means you have it and you're good to go. If you don't have that, you're just going to want to go and download it. I'll have a link in the description that you can use. So, to get started, you're going to want to open up Safari and go to dl.bucket.org and get the latest version of Bucket. A lot of the times the recommended build isn't the latest Minecraft version, so a lot of the times you're going to have to get the beta build. As you can see, this is for 1.6 and this is for 1.7. So I'm going to download that. It's a 19 megabyte file, so it should not take too long. While it does that, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and create a new folder on our desktop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Bucket, just like that. You can call it whatever you want and place it wherever you want, it does not matter. Once you've done that, you can then go to your downloads, drag your craft bucket jar to your desktop or wherever you want, and then drag it into the folder you created. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go into your folder, like so, and rename the jar so the version number isn't on it. So I'm going to go like this, and then get rid of this version number. Once I've done this, I'm going to want to open up text edit, and as you can see, I have some things typed out here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to create a new document. Now here, I'm going to paste in this little bit of code. This is the script to be able to run it. So I'm going to paste that in, and then I'm going to go to Format, and I'm going to make this a plain text. You can also do it by Command Shift T, but I'm just going to do it like that and hit OK. Now this is how you're going to be able to run it, and right here is how many, how much gigs or megabytes you're going to dedicate to it from Java. So currently it's set to 1 gig because it is 1024 megabytes, but you can set it to more. As you can see I have up to 4, it just uh, doubles it, so 1 gig, 2 gig, 3 gig. Let's say I want to give my server 2 gigs of RAM, I would just type in 2048 right there. And once I've done that, I'm going to want to save this as a command. So I'm going to go to File, Save, and I'm going to save this as server underscore start dot command, just like that. And I'm just going to put that on my desktop for now. I'm going to uncheck this and hit Save. Now it is right there. Now you can't just run this right away. What we're going to need to do is go into Applications, Utilities, and open up our terminal and type in chmod a plus x and once you've done that then you're going to drag the server server start right into here so it has the location and then hit return once it's done that nothing will come up but then you can close that out and I can close this out without saving it and then run this just by double clicking on it it will say please wait it's going to load all the libraries and it's going to create all the server files and prepare the spawn area. So now we can go ahead and test to see if our server is successfully running and if we can locally connect to it. So I'm going to go into Minecraft, hit play, wait for everything to open up, go into multiplayer, direct connect to local host, and once I do that, you'll see that I've joined the game and in here, Brandon Hopkins has logged into the server. So that is how you create, well, that's how you run a bucket server in Mac OS X. If I helped you at all, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day and goodbye.